Hello and good day. I am in conversation with KT Madhusudan, who has been supporting individuals and companies over the years by helping them improve project performance. He trains, consults, and implements best practices in project management to deliver better project results. In this short video series, he answers some questions on the makeover in approach due to the impact of the pandemic and how stakeholders can get maximum benefit. The question everyone is eager to ask is why are you on a comeback campaign and what do you mean by that? Yes, sir. Thank you, Omutu Kumar, for asking this question. Now, the comeback campaign is nothing but uh, how we can handle this uh, uh, the, these, uh, this uh, challenge posed by the <coughs> pandemic. Now, many businesses have folded up and many are under severe strain. Uh, but then, what do we do? Do we just sit back and uh, just hope that things will improve? Or are we going to be a little more, you know, proactive and aggressive in our approach? So that's the point. So what we are doing is we are trying to re-strategize, re-plan and rethink so that we can still approach people who need our services and can benefit from them. Uh, this is what uh, is the crux of uh, the comeback campaign. So uh, we hope to uh, rejuvenate um, the business uh, situation so that people are still, you know, people can still use services and goods and whatnot for their benefit. What kind of a strategic shift are you thinking of in the comeback campaign and how will you implement it? Yes, sir, Muthu Kumar. Uh, well, for one, uh, earlier we used to do, uh, you know, in-person um, or group sessions going into the company and you know talk, you know doing this for about maybe 10 15 or 20 people now for obvious reasons it can't be done now so uh, we have now developed webinars uh, which uh, you know are focused on the subject which we are taking up in each webinar and also user friendly, right? I mean, anyone can do it. That's what I meant. So anybody who is a project manager or, a, uh, you know, project team member or even a project head or senior project head can take up these webinars. So uh, as I said, they can cater for all levels of people. How can the webinars make a difference? Tell me more. And this is a very significant question because our webinars are in three parts, uh, which is a uh, brief exercise and debrief. Now the briefing is the facilitator's uh, job to explain the whole thing. And uh, the exercise is about some project related issue or situation, which will they, they will try to uh, approach and handle during the session guided by the facilitator and last but not least is the debrief where they, they explain the participants I mean explain what they have done and how they're going to sort out that situation or, or the problem. Now our webinars are both uh, generic and issue specific so uh, at the end of it they are mostly ready to handle uh, project specific uh, issues or situations on the project. Now it's all over in 75 minutes. So they can take up one or more webinars during a day, depending on facilitator availability and timings.
Now, last but not least, uh, we offer handhold sessions where we fix up a time to talk to these people on challenges they are facing or, uh, uh, you know, uh, difficulties they are having in implementation so that uh, the whole thing is sort of smoothened out and they are uh, ready to uh, go uh, go into the project and face the um, tasks or, uh, uh, you know, whatever issues that come up. Why should the stakeholders look at this come back from recession campaign seriously? Thank you for asking this question. Uh, uh, I believe people should look at this uh, campaign, this coming back campaign, seriously. The reason is that, you know, uh, this is the right time to upskill as well as reskill you know, for the project teams so that when things come back to normal, they are ready with the skills and knowledge to implement best practices on the project. Now, uh, we do set webinars, both uh, generic as well as issue specific. So uh, they are in, then in a position to handle uh, situations uh, which come up in projects. Now, uh, the other thing I want to say is it's all about priority. Now, what do I mean by that? And what I mean is that when there is a priority, things happen. Yeah. So when organizations want uh, strong results, then project management practices are the way to go and they become a priority. Now, at that time, it's not about spending a little bit of money or, you know, taking up some time. It's all about what you can do to the team or what skills you can give to the team so that you get better return on your projects.